Hello, good morning. It's Thursday the 21st. I'm FX Plu and this is the Market Brief. Um, so we're on the home straight in the leadership race. Uh, the final two have been confirmed as Rishi Sunak and Liz Truss. Truss is more representative of the traditional conservative values, which includes lowering taxes, while Sunak has said that he does want taxes brought down before the next general election, um, but tackling inflation will be his first priority. Uh, the Conservative Party will now be balloted over the summer and the winner will be announced on September the 5th. Um, Headline inflation hit a new high of 9.4% in June. That was up from 9.1% in May. Uh, just like the US, though, core inflation, which strips out food and energy costs, pulled back to 5.8%. That's down from 5.9% in May. Further good news comes from the forecourts, as the price of petrol has also started to pull back a little as well. Sterling had a pretty uneventful day, though. Uh, we couldn't quite get over the 120 mark against the dollar at the close. Uh, we opened this morning around 119.90 against the dollar and 117.40 against the euro. Uh, and euro dollar is comfortably above parity now, around 102.15. Um, over in the US, the housing market has taken a bit of a downturn. Data from existing home sales, new home sales and new building permits are all lower. Uh, but many analysts believe that the Fed rate hikes are not to blame. Interestingly, um, instead, they are pointing the finger at the recession risk, which is, in their view, making potential home buyers wait for more certainty about the economic outlook before taking the plunge. Q1 contracted by 1.6%, so we may see a technical recession as soon as the Q2 data is released. Um, it's an interesting theory, but with the borrowing costs increasing as much as they have in line with the Fed rate hikes, that must have something to do with it too. If it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, right? <laughs> uh, the Fed remains ready to act though, uh, ready to act and cut rates to stimulate the economy as and when this is needed. Uh, but for now, very much their priority is getting inflation down and under control and we can expect further rate hikes from the Fed in the near term. Uh, the dollar index broadly continues to correct. Uh, we closed around the 107 level yesterday uh, when it was unable to hold on to earlier gains that we saw in the session. Uh, right, that's it from me this morning. Have a great day and do join me again tomorrow. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.